All right, so we're at the Chicago Auto Show and we are taking a look at the Carnival by Kia. So there's a lot of buzz around the Carnival right now, actually, because guess what? Minivans didn't used to be cool. People say, I need an SUV. No, 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 we're talking now. People are actually wanting the Carnival by Kia. Um, these were flying off the lots as soon as they were hitting lots. People had to go, at least in the Nashville area, they had to go sometimes up to Kentucky, down to Georgia to get one because they just were so hard to pick up. But I'm gonna show you why they're so sought after because guess what? This is minivan done right. So the color on this one is called Astro Blue. Uh, from a distance, I wasn't quite sure on it because I was like, it's just another blue. But when I got up to it, it definitely has a metallic cover or color to it on this one. In Inside, you've got a color called Tuscan Umber. So this is a little interesting to me because it's almost pink to me. Like it's almost a lipsticky kind of pink on this. But then you look here and this is more of a copper color to it. So. I'm not really sure how I feel on this one. You all know me. I like my grays. I like my gray accents. So I do like that part of it. So inside, we're going to talk about the inside for a minute. So your steering wheel, we're going to start there. We've got our cruise control. We've got our talk to text, talk to whatever you want to do with your phone. You've got all of your controls that you're really going to need on your steering wheel. Um, you know, you've got your all of the do's too. You've got a piano finish on here as well, which we're seeing as kind of a trend in all the vehicles this year. Um, I think you're gonna continue to see this amongst all the other brands as well. Um, so you've got your haptic touch on here as well. I do actually like the location of the hazard because that's something that not all vehicles are consistent where they're putting them and you don't always need it so you forget but this one is screaming hey you need me go ahead and push me um, again you have your haptic touch as well here but i do like that you have a little bit of physicality with your buttons up and down um, in addition you've got your phone spot you know let's see does my phone fit in there <gasps> my phone does actually fit in there but you know where it doesn't fit right here in the qi charging spot it doesn't fit right there. So, uh, you know, there's there's some, go some goods and some bads here. But you all know, Dave's not sure why you need cooled seats. He's all about the heated seats, but guess what? You get heated and cooled seats in this bad boy. Three versions of heated and cooled. So bring it on, I'll take it. Um, but overall, I like the layout. The screen is starting to grow on me, the, the long screen with it. You can definitely tell you've got two separate screens here. It's not just one big screen. The platinum color on the dash, I'm not 100% sold on that. Uh, maybe it'll grow on me like a lot of other trims are starting to grow in the vehicles themselves. But, you know, you've got a rubber-ish type of dash is what you're kind of feeling there. Um, and of course you have your sunroof, which you all know I love my sunroof. So I wanna talk about the comfort really quickly before we move into the back seat and talk more about what your guests are gonna be seating. So I actually like the comfort of this one. I, I feel like this would be good on a long road trip you definitely feel substantial in the seats and ready to roll down the road for those long road trips with the kids screaming in the background. You know, you all know what I'm talking about. Hats off to Kia with the Carnival, giving it the Bose sound system, which is a premium sound system. They really set the standard for in-vehicle sound as well as an industry standard in general. So I'd be curious to know if it lives up to its expectations within this vehicle, but you've definitely got a standard on this one. So you definitely have your minivan slide doors in here for the back seat, but you also have two built-in uh, screens for those kiddos in the back. Give them those headphones and hush up kids. Let's enjoy it. So in the back seat, you've actually got a sunroof in this model as well, which I know our daughter would be all about it. She's going to be like, mom, can we get it? Yes, she's going to be all like that. Now, in addition to that, you actually have your um, accessory plug-in. 
who doesn't have a kiddo on the road trip that's like, I need to plug in my game system. Guess what? You can do it right there for on the road. You also have another cell phone pocket, which we've already tested in the front, so we know it fits. In the back seat, you've, or excuse me, in the front seat, you've actually got a plug-in USB as well on both seats ready to go. Okay, what's super cool about this too is that if you don't have three across the back seat, you actually can go ahead and pop that one down. You actually have two cup holders, and guess what? Two phone slots. So guess what? Tommy and Sally don't have to fight over the phone slots either. So win-win in my book their own controls for the back of our heating and cooling system. So to have it over there, I will say I would like to see it in the center though, because you're gonna have Tommy sitting over here controlling and burning up the little sister Sally over here. And then you're gonna have a fight back in the front. So let's be honest, Kia, probably not the best placement for that from that perspective. I'm sure there's a reason for it. Don't get me wrong. Don't kill me in the comment section. I'm just saying, I think that it was poor placement from a, from a kid's perspective <laughs> and the management of your back seat. All right, so we already talked about how I'm not a huge fan of this part within, but what I do like that Kia did on this one, they actually brought it outside and kind of paid homage to that inside as well. So this, it might grow on me over the long term, but I do, I do like that they're kind of tying the vehicle together. So we all know we don't want to deal with some crazy button on the back, but this one has a push button in the back to go ahead and have that assisted gate. Whoa. And as we open it up, I'm going to tell you cargo space in this thing is crazy. As you can see, you actually go deep down in the back. Now, the only time... Hold on, let's see, can I put a body back there? All that ID channel paying off, let's see. Woo, two thumbs up from Dave. So with the cargo space, you actually have a very deep well. What I love about that is how many times have you had the groceries in the back of the car and you just hear them flying all around? Guess what, this is gonna keep you just in a isolated spot for those groceries to fly around and they're not popping up in the area. Now, on top of that, these seats are great. They stow well. But the one gripe I have is they're heavy. They're really kind of heavy. So I'm not, how sh I'm not sure how they would go in the long run for everyone, but that part's easy. Don't get me wrong. This is the part where it's kind of heavy. But as you can see, they stow flat. Now, obviously you're not gonna have your groceries down there and put your seats back there, but you do go flat on the bed Sometimes you gotta go to Home Depot and get all the extra stuff, but guess what? You have that third row that you can stow and go ahead and put that, those items in. All right, not only does your second row get your window shades in the front, but you also get shades for the third row. In addition, your third row also gets the USB. So guess what? Tommy and Sally in the front aren't stealing just the USB just for themselves. Johnny in the back can go ahead and plug in his phone. So guess what? You've got everybody covered, less fighting for you at the end. I can see why the carnival is highly sought after, as Dave likes to call it for all the soccer moms. But I would drive this beast. Two thumbs up for me. All right, as we close up our review, this has our, been our first walk around with the Kia Carnival. And I'm gonna give this one two thumbs up, definitely. I might change a few colors along the way on this one to make it fit our lifestyle. However, I could definitely see this one sitting in the driveway and I see why all the buzz is around the Kia Carnival. Now, this has been your first look, your first walk around with All Terrain Nation, whether it be two wheel drive, four wheel drive. It only matters because we're talking Kia Carnival today on the channel and we are out. Peace everybody. See you later.